Hmm. Greetings from Zhengzhou City, Hunan Province of the People's Republic of China. I am Wang Zhou. This is Kang Yu, and this is Zi Yi. We are English majors at Hunan Tongle College. And I'm here to talk to you about a word I wish we had never had to learn, cancer. We met in late August of last year. We came together in this college as strangers. Now is the start of spring, and we are like a special family. Most of us come from the countryside or small towns. Most of our parents are poor and all sacrifice for us. You want to see one of our classmates in this movie today. She isn't sick, but her mother is. Her mother just had surgery for breast cancer and now needs radiation. Our classmates had to quit school because her family had to sell everything they have for her mother's operation and right now they need more for her mother's hospital stay. Her family is very heavy debt now, so she can't come back to school. Her name is Gao Jinghui, and we worry about her. For now, cancer has taken the chance away from her for her to build a better life for herself and for her family. But we don't want this chance to be gone forever. We want you to imagine what you might need to if you were a young girl like me and your family had to sell everything inside your house, your clothes, your food. We are very glad that you never need to, but it's really that we might. That's why our arts work so hard on English, so that we'll be able to get a good, safe, decent job when we graduate and make a better life for ourselves and our parents. We have a responsible teacher who comes from Canada. He is with us every day and is part of our class family. We learned that you in Canada can go to the hospital for free, but we can't. We don't have free health care and there is no social safety net. What we have is a firm belief that you can save the world one person at a time. Our Canadian teacher told us that in Canada, nobody has to sell anything when they get sick. We know you want our classmates' mother to be well. We know that you want our classmates and her family to have enough money to survive. We want our classmates to be here with us today. We don't want to think about what could happen to her if she isn't. All of us in our classroom and uh, almost uh, all of the 2,000 students in our college have given some money to help. But we want to do more. Our teacher and his family has given to, but he's only one man. Our school, Tonglo College, has done much more than our teacher did. But even still, their efforts just aren't able to fill all of the needs of our classmates' family. And our school helps many poor students in addition to Gao Jinghui. So we borrowed this video camera and now here we are, standing in front of you, asking for help. We hope that you in Canada, or wherever you are around the world, can give some money to help my classmates. We wish Gao Jinghui's mother lived in Canada and we were talking and we decided to bring some of the Canada to her. So, we, or maybe with some money, some love, and some love. Gao Jinghui will have enough to come back to our class. We opened a payable account for her email. Help Gao Jinghui at gmail.com. That is, help Gao Jinghui at gmail.com. Gao Jinghui is a good student, a good friend, and a good girl. We know, with your help, she will be able to come back to school. We miss her. <laughs> Thank you.